Welcome back to Tiny Town. I hope you guys are ready for things to get weird. There's going to be cramps. There's going to be waffles. We've got Ban Ban. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy, though, because he's creeping me out. Look at that smile. He's like, yeah, I'm going to blow up. What are you going to do about it? Well, guess what? I'm going to delete your face. Here we go. Oh, there he goes. He is gone. We're going to be building over here in a minute. But first, we've got to fly all the way over to Video Game Island, where I built this thing on the last video. Not too many people got this one right, but it is a beholder from like Dungeons and Dragons. So we got to get rid of this eyeball. Let's get rid of these things. Now, obviously, if you can guess what character I'm building, let me know in the comments. This thing is a video game character from like a week old. This guy isn't normally in video games, but he has been around for a long time. So he's existed kind of before video games, I guess. And he's kind of scary. At least he is most recently. Okay, we just got some spheres going on at the moment. There we go. Just some chubby spheres. And then we'll go uh, like that. He looks so beautiful. He looks like a purple fat worm. Gotta try and make some arms out of this thing, but this is sort of difficult. Okay, just gonna use balls. I don't have any multicolored arms I could be using. This is also the arm. This is a super rough job. Because remember, if I make it too good, you guys will guess what it is. And we don't want that. We don't want it to make it too easy. All right, he's got fat legs, probably. Because he's quite fat all over. Probably from all the burgers and stuff that he eats and shakes. That head's a bit big, though, I think. Just gonna shrink that head down a touch. All right, I'm gonna get this guy a shake. And I'm gonna put that in his hand like that. All right, that's just... He's just munching on a shake. And he's also munching on a person. Okay, let's get this guy... This guy's just being eaten. There we go. Okay, let's get him some eyes. Just pop these eyes in his noggin. There really isn't a lot to this guy. He is basically just just purple. Just a purple thing. That, that's pretty much it. Okay, and you, he's got like really heavy looking eyelids. That's it. That's the entire guy. He kind of looks like, I don't know, like a big purple grape thing. You know what I mean? Like the mascot for Ribena or something like that. <laughs> Guys, let me know in the comments if you can guess what character this is. This could be one of the easiest ones to guess I've ever done. Even Jobbot knows what it is. Look at that smug face on this guy. He is epic smug. Okay, let's go all the way over to the city. We gotta start building some stuff. So in the last video, we built the pretzel dude. Um, I don't yet have a name for this guy, so let me know in the comments what we're gonna call him. But he stabbed Frankie Fries right through the fries, and his eye even popped out. It's gross. It is mega gross. And look at this guy. He looks like a psycho. <laughs> he does. Okay, I reckon here is probably the spot. This is a good one. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the banana thing. I think it's called... It's not the ballistic banana. Is it like battle banana? No, bazooka banana. That's what it was. And it's gonna be eaten by a giant waffle guy. Here we go. So I kind of want this waffle thing... Just to be taking a bite out of him, you know what I mean? Like, this waffle is just straight up crazy. And it's got hold of his arm like that. And it's in his mouth. Let's just move the fingers over here. These big, hammy-looking banana fingers. You could probably call them lady fingers, I suppose. And I'm actually gonna double up the waffle. It's kind of like a waffle stack. Put that there like that. Yes. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm gonna put some extra waffles. Yeah, that looks good. Look at, look at those waffles. They look menacing. Okay, and this waffle, it actually has teeth. We're gonna get some teeth on there. We might even get some sauce on the inside as well. Just these really scary looking teeth. This thing is not really intelligent, right? It is alive. It is food that's living, but it's not smart like the others. Definitely not like the tactical taco over there. Okay, taking a oh, good chunk out of his arm. You know what I mean? Like, this thing's more like a rabid dog or something. This place is getting so big. We've got so many creations and models in here. I'm starting to wonder at what point we're going to reach our limit. When things start disappearing, that's what happens. One of my worlds in Tiny Town was just giant, and the road started to disappear, and the water started to disappear. It was bad. But if that does happen, we could always build another one. That's the best thing about this game. All right, get some more teeth. Oh, yeah, look at this. This thing looks like a nightmare. Okay, cool. And I want to get, like, a tongue hanging out the side. You know what I mean? Like a dog, like I said. Okay, yeah, 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 that's good. That's good. So, something, something like that. And he's got ice cream on the top there because he is delicious. Okay, and I'm going to give him these really, like, beady-looking eyes because these ones, I don't know, they just look a little bit crazier than the other eyes. There we go. And we'll make one of the eyes look like it's kind of, like, just looking in really bodgy directions. Oh, maybe I could make it 
so that he is actually a dog. Look at this. <laughs> Let's get this dog and see if we can make him dog power. So we give him legs and then we sort of go like this. And then all of a sudden he has a nose. Oh my God, that is so bad. <laughs> okay. So we've kind of gone from dog to spider creature and I'm loving it. Dude, this thing looks creepy. It looks so creepy. Look at that. It's got spider legs. It's basically jumped out of nowhere and it's grabbed hold of the banana guy's arm. I might even get this. So it kind of looks like he's shot a bit of a web. That's what he's swung in on. Yeah, cool. Look at that. He swung in on a web. He's bit the banana. I like that guy. That is one cool character. If you guys want to come up with a name, oh, it could be like the webbed waffle or something like that. I don't know. You guys come up with something cool. Let me know in the comments. Let's head over here. Because remember I asked you guys what we should put over in this giant castle thing. Big sand castle. Have you noticed that the spade is also made of sand? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. But we've got some guys over here who are going to be fighting back against the Ban Ban creatures. We've got Patched Willy here. He's just hanging out. There's actually some people surfing, which is sort of nice. Uh, this guy is surfing his friend, which is also nice. I guess they must be really, really close or something. Must be. <laughs> but I want to build a race of crab people. That's right. Actual crab people. And they're going to be kind of big. You know what I mean? Like they've evolved. Maybe they're better than regular humans. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to start folding this guy as best as I can. Just to make him look a little bit more crab-like. So um, maybe his back legs will go out like this in a weird shape. The arms will have to be crumpled in to side his body. Um, just like that. See this? This is the shape I'm going for. <laughs> this is good. This is why you come to the Finpire channel. For crab people. 100%. Now, one thing we could actually do is just superimpose this guy with a real crab. Right? If we were to just go like this. Um, I mean, that's not bad. It kind of does the job. But I just kind of want to do this instead. You know, just give him crab arms. Crab race is coming along pretty good. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I'm just going to clone this guy. We'll get another one. All right, now this guy, um, I don't know. I guess he's just like hanging out up here. Maybe he's looking over this way. Okay, now I'm giving him some cartoonish eyes uh, just because they were looking a little bit too human. Beautiful. Look at this dude. Oh yeah, he looks so dreamy and worried. I feel bad for him a little bit. You know, like I want the crab people to survive. Except for this one. This one looks a little bit crazy. This one's about ready to murder some dudes. All right, we've got three crab people so far. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to add to this guy. Maybe we could do a crab that's actually part human instead of human that's part crab. You know what I mean? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> but let me know in the comments. All right, let's fly over here because we've got some building to do of some trains for our next Ban Ban character, all right? So I'm going to switch up these train tracks at the moment. All right, I'm just doing a little bit of land surgery here, just like this. Okay, then we get pieces like this. We slot them just in there like that. And that is how you build an angle. Nice. That's looking pretty good. Look at that. It's like a mound. It's a perfect mound. Cool. And that's it right there. So we've got this nice little mound thing going on. Another one of these just there like that. Okay. Then I'm going to get this tunnel and see if I can slot it in. Oh, it's ground only. But how do I get that to go... Oh, it's sliding up the ground. Stop it. Maybe if I copy it, like if I go like this, put it about there... But then the copy will go into the, the... Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. So I've added in a section here where we've got a tunnel, goes across the road, goes into another tunnel. The reason I wanted a tunnel here is because that's where I wanted my character to be coming from. <laughs> this next guy is actually made of 10 individual pieces that I made in Google Blocks. There's... I just deleted one. Oh my god. All right. Don't delete these, Finn. Okay, so this guy's actually really big. I didn't want him to be this big. At the moment, he's almost bigger than Nibbler. I kind of want to shrink him down a little bit, just so that it kind of looks like he does fit in this tunnel. Otherwise, that wouldn't make any sense. All right, there we go. I don't know how big the head has to be. Let's get the body. The guy I'm building, of course, is Happy Frank. And he's a rhino, but he's got a fat stomach. So we've got the, the fat stomach there going on. That's pretty good. All right, let's have him charging out of this tunnel because I think that'll look really cool. The weird thing about Rhino Frank, except for the fact that he's got gigantic mouth and it looks incredibly creepy, 
is that his hands, which is also his feet because he's a rhino and he's on his feet all the time, uh, detach from his body via weird lengthy cable tentacles, which are these things. All right, but let's get the body going on. We've got the body over there. I think that's a good size. Let's shrink the head down to see if we can get the body in proportion. Where's this gut of his? I think that's about there. All right, got the legs. Because this guy is actually a rhino, he does charge. This guy runs, and you want to get out of the way, otherwise you get flattened. Just super flattened by this monster. Oh my god, I can't believe there's so many parts here. I, I can't even remember what they're all for. <laughs> Alright, this is an arm. I remember that much. Alright, let's get the arm. Maybe going up a little bit like that, and then we'll get this arm. Just sort of back a little bit this way. Okay, yeah, that looks cool. Then we got to get these noodle things, and we've got to make sure these are the right size. We don't want these to be too short. Let's go sort of like that. Like he's kind of reaching out with the weird noodle arm. Okay, that one can go like that. I'm going to get his head here like this. Yeah, this guy looks amazing. Okay, let's get the, uh, the feet, hands, foot, hands, whatever they are. Okay, yeah, that looks really cool. Now we got to get some horns and an eye on this guy. He is a rhino after all, so he needs horns. Put that one there. Make sure it's not too big. And they've got, like, normal, like, a little horn back here, don't they? Like, a real little one, I think. I, I can't quite remember what rhinos look like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Now, let's get some eyes for this dude. Happy Frank is definitely looking pretty awesome. And I want to go for a bit of a crazy look on his face. I find if we go for, like, an eye like this, it doesn't look as crazy. Versus if we go for this one. But we'll test them both out anyway. Look at that. Like, that is a, Yeah, it looks okay. It looks okay. But then if we put this one in, you know what I mean? He just looks even more wild. Yeah, see, that side doesn't look as good anymore, does it? This side just looks way better. Okay, we'll get that other eye on there like that. You can see I actually made eyelids for him. I think the eyelids just make him look just way better. 100% legit. Look at this guy. That is... He's missing ears. <laughs> I just realized he has no ears. Okay, that's fine. Maybe I'll make some ears for him. Probably just make some ears sort of like this, maybe. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad for ears. Just sort of hanging out the side of his head. Yeah, that looks good. All right. We have Happy Frank running out of the tunnel. This guy looks cool, man. About ready to just pummel some dudes with his weird flying fist feet. <laughs> Whatever they are. They look really cool, though. I like them. I want you guys to go ahead and rate my Happy Frank. All right, just rate him out of two. Just you know, either give it a one or a two. One is the worst creation I've ever made, and two is the best creation I've ever made. Just let me know, alright, in the comments. Pretty easy. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys next time.